Good day, guys. I hope you're all doing so well. On today's lesson, let's talk about electricity. So electricity, this, to, this question, I took it from uh, 2017 Physical Sciences, Term 3, Grade Level Control Test, question number 5. So it's, a, it's of electricity. So now, uh, the statement reads as follows. A battery with an EMF of 12 volts is connected in a circuit. So here's our 20 volts EMF. Ne? EMF, we're going to learn about more about it in grade 12. Ne? Yes, but for now, we're not going to talk about calculating EMF and stuff. Ne? So we're just going to talk about uh, Ohm's law. Finish. So 20 volts is connected in a circuit as shown. Ne? When the switch is closed, now we are closing the switch. We are now closing the switch. When the switch is closed, uh, let's use this one. When the switch, when the switch is closed, we are closing the switch right now. Yes, we are closing the switch. Uh, the reading on the ammeter is 4 ampere. So when the switch is closed, the reading on the ammeter is 4 ampere. And they say ignore the resistance of the battery and connecting wires. So now, this is so simple. The 5.1. Question number five, you are saying, five, question number five, it says that it must calculate. Calculate, then 5.1. The question says, calculate the effective resistance in the circuit. Now, how do you calculate the effective resistance in the circuit? Remember, effective resistance, it means the total resistance of the circuit. Ne? So now, we need to check where is our resistors. Ne? Where is our resistors in the circuit? We have one, two, and three. We have three resistors. This one is in series. These two are in parallel. So now, how do you find the total resistance of the circuit? So now, someone can say, okay, I can literally find the total resistance in a parallel connection after I have found the total resistance through that formula, yeah, 1 over R parallel is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. For this parallel connection, I can find the total resistance of this parallel connection. Thank you, guys. But now, the trick is that we don't have the value or the amount of this resistor R. So we cannot, for now, we can't use literally this equation alone. Ne? So after, let me just say we had the value of this resistance. Ne? So we, we're just going to find the total resistance of this parallel connection. After that, you're going to add whatever you found here with this one and find the total resistance of the circuit. That's how we're going to find the effective or total resistance of the circuit. Ne? But the, the simplest way to find this one, ne? I think there are two methods here, but I'm just giving you one method that is so simple to use. Now, for you to find the total resistance, ne? it's R is equal to V over R. Yeah? So it's RT, IT, VT. So it's this is Ohm's law, by the way. So you need to know Ohm's law before you can go into the examination. Go and read about what is Ohm's law, please, guys. This is the formula we use for Ohm's law. Okay? R is equal to V over I. Resistance is equal to voltage divided by current. Now, for you to find the effective resistance, the total resistance, you need to know that for you to use this formula to find the total resistance, you need to know the total voltage and to the, the total current. Are you? And you know that the, the, total the total voltage is found on our battery. We, found, we find our total voltage on our battery. Is it present? Yes. This 20V is our total voltage of the whole circuit. The, do we have the total current? I think yes, because of what? This 4 ampere, it is the total current of the circuit. Since we are now the behavior of current in a series connection, is the same. She means like the value of the current in a series connection, even if you can have two currents, even if you can have two 
and peers in a series connection. Their values are the same. You can have this four here, this four here, this four here, as long as our uh, current or our MPS are connected in a series connection. So this four is the total current of the circuit because of what is in series connection. Ne? So I'm gonna use 20 and four to find the total resistance of the circuit. So it's 20 divided by four is equals to five, five watt O. This is our R total of the circuit, guys. I hope we can literally hear you. It is not the resistance of the circuit, but it's the total, the effective resistance of the circuit, 5.2. I hope you can literally hear me. 5.2, it says that determine or calculate the reading on V1. When the switch is closed, calculate the voltage on V1, this one. Now, how we find V1? You need to know how does the voltage behave in a series connection and in parallel connection. Remember, voltage in series connection, the V total or the total voltage is equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3 and etc. That means all the total voltages in series connection, they add one another. Which means they're not equal. But if you add a voltage across the circuit, they will give you the total voltage of the battery in the battery. Yeah. This basically means a good oh in, in voltage in, in, in parallel connection, you know, is different from the that one of series because voltage 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 in parallel connection is a V1 is equals to V2 is equals to V3 and etc. So this basically means a good Voltage in parallel connection, uh, they're equal, all of them, together with the total voltage, yeah? they're equal. But in series, you just they're equal if and only if you add all the voltages that are connected that are connected across the resistors. Yeah? So now in this case, you need to know that you need to know if these voltages are connected in series or in parallel to one another or to this one. Remember, guys, a parallel connection it means something that is parallel means what they are on top of one another. This V1 and V2 are not on top of one another, they are separated. They each and every voltage has, has got its own block, therefore, they are connected in series. And you see that in series, V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4 and etc. equal to your total voltage. For us to find the total voltage, you need to add V1 plus V2. How is that? So V total is equals to V1 plus V2. What is the value for V total? Is 20. The question said that you must find the voltage on V1. V1, this one. Here. So V1, do we have V2? No. Plus, V2. Now, here's the trick. For us to find V1, we need to know the value of V2. Ne? For us to find V1, initially, okay, if we were to find a V1, guys, if we had the total current ne, in this block and the total resistance in this block only, then we'll be able to find V1. But, but this is the total resistance of this resistor. We cannot use that method but for for this one to solve this one need to know what is the voltage v2 for us to find v1 we always need to know v2 let us find v2 can we find v2 guys can we find v2 if yes please do it here's our v2 guys and v2 has got the the resistance which is 3,2 ohm but in a current, but in a current incidence, which means this block, this block, this block experiences the total or the maximum current. Because they are not on top of one another. We don't have a resistor that are on top of one another. We only have one resistor 
that is in series that means and it's a current in series current here is the same as current inside this block you have the v2 and 3 ohm resistor therefore this 3 ohm resistor will experience the maximum current or this block will experience the maximum current why because this block is quoted in series connection ne ne guys but if i can uh, compare these two blocks this current will, will share will share itself between this 3 ohm resistor and this r resistor but here it won't share because there's only one resistor here and this is series therefore it's the same ne? so i can find v2 by saying r is equals to v over i so v2 i take v2 v2 ne? so uh, v2 i'm going to cross multiply and get so it will v2 is equals to r r get guy r get 3,2 and get multiplied by current and get i've cross multiplied here current on get guy you four Okay. I hope you can see which way do you find four and okay. then on the calculator you literally uh, say three comma two times four nine per twelve comma eight volts. This is the value for V2 12 comma eight volts. Now I have I've just found V2, I can find V1 through through by saying which okay. therefore 20 is equals to V1 plus 12,8. I'm going to transpose this 12,8 to the left and be left with V1 as my subject with the formula. Therefore, V1 is equals to 20 minus 12,8. Therefore, V1 get guy. V1 get guy, guys. V1 k 7,2 volts. This is the value of V1. I hope you can literally hear me. Ne. Let me just write them down so that I cannot forget about them as I move to the next question. So guys, please indicate if you don't understand what's happening here. So the value of our V1 is equals to 7,2 volts. The value of our V2 is equals to 12,8 volts. And our total is 5 ohms. I just want to write them so that I cannot forget about them. I our total I wanna give guy k five ohm. That's so far we have. This is so far our results. Ne? Yes, five point three. Five point three. Five point three ne, guys. I know that electricity electricity is electricity is so tricky guys, ne? but we will get there, don't worry. We will get there. Now five point three it says that calculate the resistance of resistor R. That means what the resistance of this. Calculate the resistance of resistor R. Now, this is so simple, guys. How are we going to find the resistance of resistor R? Okay, now. Let us check something here. So, it's our 5.3 now. 5. 5.5.5.3. It's our 5.3. Uh, 5.3 it says that you must find the resistance of a resistor R. This one, we have a resistance here, this part, this one. We want this. Okay. Now, check, guys. Let's check our. For us to find the resistance of resistor R, we need to know. We already have the V1, which is 7,2. Okay. 7,2 volts v1 again that means this v1 covers these two resistor that means we already have the value of our v don't start about v now r how we gonna find r simple ne? first to first you need to know honor what will be the value of our current on both the resistors and you recall by they are connected in a parallel connection you need to know if when this uh, current enters into this branch how much it will share between the 3 ohm resistor and the r resistor that's important for you to know now let us covering 
this V, Renale V, Renale 3 ampere, we can literally find the total the, the current on the 3 ohm resistor. I get R is equal to V over I, I get 3 ohm resistor. I get so what about 3 is equal to what is the value of V? 7,2 over I, I get rather current through the 3 ohm resistor. I get so what about 3 times I is equal to 7,2. Therefore, I are going to get I are going to get 7,2 uh, divided by 3. Divided by 3. I get Keep guy. The 2, 2, 4 MPA. This is the current through the 3 ohm resistor. Ne. Ne, guys. Now, I'm going to get the the resistance are here now. Here is a joint for one of the resistance are on a right here. Since well, now, eh, remember, I total, I total. So now, but okay, before that, but before I total, what are we eh, left with to find now? Certainly. Current in the 3 ohm resistance, I can literally find the current in my R resistor. Through what? Through saying, okay, this I total will share its power between this 3 ohm resistor and the uh, R resistor. So I'm going to say I total is equal to current in the 3 ohm resistance plus current in the R resistance. Ne? So what is the current on the 3 ohm resistance is 2,4 plus. What is the current in the R resistance? Unknown. Then what is the total current is 4. Therefore, I'm going to be left with current in the, in, the, in the resistor R on one side as my subject of movement. Therefore, current in the R resistance is equal to 4 minus 2,4. Keep guy. The one comma six MPA. Therefore, we already have the current, which is one comma six uh, MPA, and here we have the, our current is two comma four MPA. So now, when I add this two two comma four plus one comma six, it gives me four, which means this three ohm takes two comma four, and this R resistance takes one comma six MPA. Now, guys. Since right now this V1 carries, this is the total voltage across this parallel connection is 7,2. Now this resistance R has got a current which is 1,6. I can find, since well through the, the use of that formula, R, R is equal to V over I. I can find the resistance through the use of this formula because of signal V1, signal current. Keep guy V1, K7,2. Keep guy current around, not, two, not on the 3 ohm resistance, but on the R resistor. To be specific, which is 1, 1, 6. Therefore, 7,2 divided by 1,6. Keep guy, K4,5 ohm. This is the total resistance in Amuna, which is 4,5 ohm. I hope you can literally hear me, guys. I hope you can literally hear me. Now, uh, another question is very important. Another question is very important. It's so important, guys. Ne? It's so important. 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 Uh, the last question is 5.4. 5.4 it's so simple 5.4 5.4 it says that calculate the power in 3 ohm resistor power in 3 ohm resistor what is the power in 3 ohm resistor now power you should know the formula you use to calculate power we have this one p is equal to v times i we have another one which is equals to 
i squared times r another one and then you like a p is equals to v squared over r another one is p is equals to uh, w which is work divided by changing time so you want to choose the value between all these formulas which one is suitable for the question we already have the 3 ohm resistor yeah then you, you go back to your formula and check now uh, you check on the formula button which a uh, formula can I consist of our resistor we've got this one and this one i can use between the two which one is is has got known variables another three ohm resistor okay for this one let me talk to the current in that three ohm resistor okay let me talk to the current term okay in that three ohm resistor okay get two comma four current in the three ohm resistor okay i can use this one okay because can only current in the resistance this one you know okay i need to know voltage across the the three ohm resistor I get the voltage on your guy 7,2. This 7,2 is the voltage across all the, that means it is voltage across the 3 ohm resistance and the voltage across the 4,5 ohm resistance. That means it this V1 it carries the voltage across this this uh, parallel connection. So I can use both of these equations and I'll get the same answer. How is it in another P is equals to I squared times R again? What is the value of our I squared? Current is 2,4 across the 3 ohm resistor. 2,4 squared multiplied by 3. The formula is given. Then I want to say 17,28 watts. Another formula is equal to P is equal to V squared over R. Voltage across the 3 ohm resistor. 7,2. 7,2 divided by 3. Three is given a great three ohm. Therefore, the value is seventeen comma two eight watts. We are done. I hope we can return here, you guys. Thank you for uh, having this session with me. Enjoy your day to the fullest. Thank you, guys. We will meet in the next session. Uh,